I got up here, I moved up here the end of December, and then I started, you know, a lot of baseball activity beginning of January. When they started team practice, I really started ramping everything up. So it's been cool to be out here, and Coach O'Brien lets me just hang out all day, so that's pretty awesome. I like to work with infielders. That's, I mean, most fun for me is going out and taking ground balls with the younger guys that I haven't met, and then the old, older guys that I've played with. They did a great job recruiting. They have so much depth, and all the guys that I take ground balls with, I mean, they catch the ball, they make good throws, and they're just, they love, they have great motors, you know, they can stay out here and take ground balls all day, which is right up my alley, and it's a lot of fun. You know, they'll ask questions like, oh, why'd you do that when you went for that ball, or, you know, like little things like that, and then I, I kind of help them say things like that so they don't feel uncomfortable asking me, where I try to be more approachable, where they can come up to me and be like, you know, feel comfortable asking me questions like that, so, and I love that too. The hard part was you get six months off and finding a way to try to get into baseball shape and not kind of overdo it and then uh, you know come into spring training where you're basically in shape but you're still a little room to improve so you don't blow it out like right when you get there and then you're exhausted you know so you got to find that medium. I remember my, uh, my first game last season in April I woke up I went outside to my car and my car windshield was covered with snow so <laughs> And I knew I had to play that night, and uh, you know that's a little bit different because when you're playing out here, especially at Santa Clara, the weather's always nice. It, you know, I would complain when it was in the 40s here, and uh, now I'm complaining if it's in, uh, below 30. You know, so you know it's great experience playing out here, and then going to there, it's just kind of a wake-up call with the weather. You can't beat California weather, but you know it's uh, it's fun. It's a good experience. Good food, cool cool little places to go eat, and you know it's different, but it's it's good experience. It was funny when they were uh, playing St. Mary's in that that game where they clinched. My, I was at a, we had an off day in West Virginia, and uh, my buddy Andrew Biancardi called me, and he's like, "Hey, they're about to clinch right now," and I was like, "All right, Facetime me so I can see." So he called and he uh, he Facetimed, and I, you know, he had the he had the camera up to the field, and I'm and I'm watching, and I was going nuts when TJ got that hit, and I was you know I was so fired up, I felt like I was there, so that was cool. Guys that I like to watch, like Flaherty and J.J. Hardy, like those guys are just so consistent and you just watch them go about their business every single game. They're putting up good A-Bs, making all the plays on defense. It's, and then that run they went on, I mean, they were, they were a tough team. And you look at like their rotation, they didn't have any like real standout guys, but they just competed every single game, which was really cool. I mean, there's definitely nothing like college baseball. I mean, professional baseball is awesome, but the camaraderie every single day with you know, these guys are so much more than just playing the game, you know, hanging out and just getting to know everybody and you're with them nonstop. In pro ball, you either go up, you go down, you move around, so you meet new guys constantly. This, you're just so tight because you're with them, the same group every single day, which is really cool. So, I mean, it kind of helped me just get along with different personalities and kind of, you know, mold to different groups that I'm in. It helps, you know, being here, meeting new people every single year, and then out there you meet them, new people, you know, maybe once a week, you know, and once a month, you know, it's crazy. So that helped for sure. Having the Bronco bench down on our sideline was definitely a huge game changer in terms of our attitude throughout the game.